In this video, you will learn how to use AI to transform messy and complicated Amazon purchase data into simplified usable data and to create useful Excel reports like this. And you will also learn how to upload Amazon purchase details into QuickBooks. As a regular Amazon customer, you can request your transaction data anytime from your account page, as you've seen me do here. After receiving the CSV file from Amazon via email, you see how complex it is. I will now prepare a file to feed to the AI so that it can clean it up and make it usable. First, I reduce the columns in a spreadsheet program like Excel and keep only the three columns that the AI will need in order to extract needed information. Order date, total owed, and product name. Second, I add header information to the first rows of the spreadsheet. A title and account number, a beginning date, an ending date, a beginning balance of $0, and an ending balance. For the ending balance, I use the sum of the total owed amounts. That way, the AI will know when all the transactions are accounted for. Next, I save this worksheet as a PDF file type, making sure to select Sheet instead of Workbook. Now I go to an AI data preconditioner called Bad Bank. I upload the PDF file that I just created with my Amazon data. The AI will extract and precondition the data, clean it up, and create usable files, like CSV, QBO, and OFX files. Bad Bank uses the header information that I created to give this account a name and time period. You can use your own naming conventions, of course. I open up the download folder and see that there are a lot of files that have been created with my data. I open up the top level CSV file to see that Bad Bank's AI has extracted clean, readable, consistent names from the complicated Amazon data, and everything is neatly organized and accounted for. This same data is also contained in the other files in my download folder, like OFX and QBO. And I can send the folder to a tax preparer or CPA or manipulate it myself with pivot tables, or even upload it into my accounting system. Before I import these Amazon expenses into QuickBooks, I will do a quick pivot table report in Excel. I insert a pivot table and select Payee and Amount. If I want to import these transactions into an accounting package, like QuickBooks, Bad Bank has already created the files to do that. While you or your CPA may have your own method for allocating these newly found expense details, one way to do it is by setting up an Amazon clearing account, which is a current liabilities account, a credit card account to be specific. With a clearing account, I can import all the detailed transactions and distribute them to more specific expense accounts from there. Either way, I have newly found details that can improve deductions come tax time. In this video, we used an AI data preconditioner called Bad Bank to extract usable expense data from complicated and cumbersome Amazon data and we created an Excel pivot table report, and we also demonstrated one method for uploading these expenses into an accounting system like QuickBooks using a clearing account strategy. You can use the same technique with data from other platforms like PayPal and Venmo. It will get you started as you become more of an AI accounting expert. We hope you enjoyed this video and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel now to stay updated on upcoming AI accounting tutorials that will transform how you handle your finances. And to do what you saw today, Use the link in the description below to sign up for free at Bad Bank AI.